Problem 19. A number is considered floppy if its digits alternate, for example, 2020 and 37,373, but 383 and whatever are not. How many five-digit floppy numbers are divisible by 15? We must understand what it means for a number to be divisible by 15. Any number that's divisible by any number must contain the number of factors of that given number. For example, 15, right, is equal to 3 times 5. Let's ask ourselves, is 45 divisible by 15? Well, 45, right, is equal to 3 times 15, which is the same thing as equal to 3 times 3 times 5. Ignore this, obviously, yeah, but ignore it for now. The reason why it's actually divisible is because I have one factor of 3, and I have another factor of 5. I have the minimum number of factors of the number I'm dividing with, which is 15. Therefore, I can divide 45 with 15. That's the logic, and that's how it goes, and that applies for any other number um, that you can think of. So going back to this question, this is a five-digit alternating number, right? And it must be divisible by both three and both five. Well, I think everyone should know the divisibility rule for five. If not, the divisibility rule for five is that the ending digit, the units digit, must be either zero or five. So there's two cases here. We can have it end in zero, or we can have it end in five. Well, if this ends in zero, then this must be zero, and this must be zero. But if this digit is zero, this becomes a four digit number, and we want five digit numbers. Therefore, we cannot have the units digit to be zero, therefore this case gets eliminated. Therefore, the, the units digit must be a five, and therefore we have the two other digit terms established. Let's, cons let's call this to be a variable y, this to be a variable y, right? And we also know that this number is divisible by five already. It's divisible by five, but what about three? y would determine whether or not this number is divisible by 3 or not. So if we, what is the divisibility rule for 3? Well, the divisibility rule for 3 is that the sum of the digits of the number must be a multiple of 3. For example, consider 45. It's, what is 4 plus 5? Well, 4 plus 5 is 9. The reason why I'm doing 4 plus 5 is because that's the digits. 9 is equal to 3 times 3. Since that's a multiple of 3, 45 is divisible by 3. From the same logic, 30, 15 plus 2y right, must equal some multiple of n. And let's see what that multiple of n is. So n, in other words, is equal to 5 plus 2 over 3y. Let's try to sub in values of y and get whole numbers of n. If we can get a whole number of n, like a number is a whole number, like 1, 2, 3, then y would be a valid, y would be a valid case. <coughs> also remember that y is a digit, and digits range between 9 and 0. So we have to apply numbers from 0 all the way onto 9 to see which works. When y is equal to 0, n is equal to 5. Well, that's a valid valid n because that's a whole number. So y, right, when x is equal to 5, right, y can equal 0. And now let's test the other ones. When y is equal to 1, well, that will obviously not work. What will get this to be a whole number? Because only when this is a whole number can 5 plus a whole number get you a whole number n. Well, obviously, y must equal 3, right? So n is equal to 7. But then again, y can equal 6. Y can equal 7, Y can equal 9. So in other words, we have 0, 3, 6, and 9. And we're done, because that is the range of Y that we can go to. So in other words, now that we find the values of Y, what are the total possible pairings of X and Y? Well, it could be 5 and 0, 5 and 3, 5 and 6, and 5 and 9. We have a total of four possible pairings, therefore we have a total of four possible five-digit flippy numbers.